uplifting your spirit through the inspired Word of God. This is your daily devotional. To be like Jesus, gain spiritual strength through prayer, and in the morning, rising up a great while before day. He went out and departed into a solitary place and there prayed. Mark 1, 35 Because the life of Jesus was a life of constant trust, sustained by continual communion, his service for heaven was without failure or flattering. Daily beset by temptation, constantly opposed by the leaders of the people, Christ knew that he must strengthen his humanity by prayer. In order to be a blessing to people, he must commune with God, from him obtaining energy, perseverance, steadfastness. The Savior loved the solitude of the mountain in which to hold communion with his Father. Through the day, he labored earnestly to save men, women, and children from destruction. He healed the sick, comforted the mourning, called the dead to life, and brought hope and cheer to the despairing. After his work, for the day was finished, he went forth, evening after evening, away from the confusion of the city, and bowed in prayer to his father. Frequently he continued his petition through the entire night, but he came from these seasons of communion, invigorated and refreshed, braced for duty and for trial. Are the ministers of Christ tempted and fiercely buffeted by Satan? So also was he who knew no sin. In the hour of distress, he turned to his father, himself a source of blessing and strength. He could heal the sick and raise the dead. He could command the tempest and it would obey him. Yet he prayed, often with strong crying and tears. He prayed for his disciples and for himself thus identifying himself with human beings. He was a mighty petitioner. As the prince of life, he had power with God and prevailed. Those who teach and preach the most effectively are those who wait humbly upon God and watch hungrily for his guidance and his grace. Watch, pray, work. This is the Christian's watchword. The life of a true Christian is a life of constant prayer. He knows that the light and strength of one day is not sufficient for the trials and conflicts of the next. Satan is continually changing his temptations. Every day we shall be placed in different circumstances and in the untried scenes that await us, we shall be surrounded by fresh dangers and constantly assailed by new unexpected temptations. It is only through the strength and grace gained from heaven that we can hope to meet temptations and perform the duties before us. To be like Jesus, January 13th. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Thank you all for listening and please join us once again tomorrow for your daily devotional reading. God bless.